I can't see you very well. Um, good evening. Thank you very much for being here, for attending this session. Uh, after so, so, so wonderful presentations, uh, some uh, presentations that have been very, very interesting, I would like to thank the organizers for their work. And, um, well, we're here to sing improvised verses uh, in Basque. So, without further ado, let me introduce you to uh, the uh, singers we have today with us, uh, Amet Arzayus, first of all. Andoni Egaña. Maya Len Lujambio. And Nere Aibarzabal. There they are. And I don't know much about science, to tell you the truth, but as for improvised verse singers, uh, well, uh, I know something about that. So let's now start singing. Let's go for the greetings, individual greetings from each one of them. Kaisho se shangodu. Hello, what are we doing here? After listening to so wonderful uh, presentations, so many stars up in the skies. And here in this auditorium as well. We're not going dis to discuss about theories because we're here to sing. We're here to sing about a topic that is unknown to us and therefore we will try and discover ourselves. When we were invited to come, we said, oh, I will accept, I will go. But I got nervous as well because I know I have many Nobel laureates here. This morning, my mom told me, as uh, she knew about what I was going to do today, she said, imagine them all in their underwear and you won't feel so afraid. So don't worry, I won't take this into consideration today. Verses and passion, science and words. What a funny mixture. What's this all about? Well, it's a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. It's something that makes us happy. A water drop in the ocean. We need so many ingredients. We need to be brave, that's another ingredient. We don't have a magical formula and that's what verses are all about as well. Good afternoon to you all. Here we are, we are five unstable particles. Five not so artificial intelligences. Five questionable theories. We work with words, we improvise, and here we have a group of experts. If you are afraid to learn, you need to ask. But let's sing to find that passion for knowledge.
Urbildu mesedez, Amets eta Andoni. Plaiz, Andoni, Anamets. Behar bada, Maybe you have read in the media that uh, uh, in the University of the Basque Country there are many uh, degree students that are working on their PhD thesis and they are now demonstrating uh, because uh, they're not well paid. Um, their monthly salary is 800 euros and uh, it doesn't seem to be enough. So they've been protesting, protesting lately. And that is our context. You are both researchers at the University of the Basque Country. You're working on your PhD thesis. Andoni, you've been working on it for three years, and Andoni has just started. And uh, he's told you, oh, I don't know how you've managed. Um, I would love to finish my PhD thesis, but I don't know if I'll be able to complete it. That is the context. Ahmed, you're a newcomer, and you're already asking questions. You know well how much you're going to be paid. You asked how I can keep working on this. It's hard, I confess. And I'm lucky that I have a civil servant as a partner. Yes. Diesel costs two euros, a beer, four. We spend so many nights uh, studying. We also need to pay the rent in Donosti, in San Sebastian, that costs 2,000 euros. If I'm paid 800 euros, that's not enough, clearly not enough. You've been living like this for three years. I don't know how I'm going to make it myself. I've been paid 800 euros a month for three years now. It's true, it's very little. But um, that's how things are in our daily lives. We need to do our best. At college, they told us that we would be paid more, but there is a ceiling, a clear ceiling there. Also for men, not just for women. So, men also had that glass ceiling on top of their heads. They could not break them with their arms. I tried to work hard on chemistry. And I also tried to work hard on my improvised verses. I have three master courses and uh, I've been an Erasmus student three times. It wasn't simple. People in improvised verse school are not silly at all. Nick Iru Urte Badaramaskit. I've been working on this for three years now. I keep working and working. 
in a way or another. You need to know that your situation is going to be precarious. At first, you may be scared and worried. I think we need to uh, organize a demonstration and protest before the Vice Chancellor of the Basque University of the University of the Basque Country. Sorry. Yes. A demonstration is fine. We need to make a poster for that. I think I'm going to leave this. I'm working very hard, as hard as you are. I'm not very hopeful in San Sebastian. So I'm going to volunteer to um, travel to the moon. Place Mayalen and uh, Nerea. Zientziak bereak ditu tituluak bertsolaritzak ere bai. In science people um, study um, they have degrees and um, um, maybe in improvised verse uh, history we haven't had um, in so many schools but now we do you go from town to town you're uh, professional verse singers we have more and more women on stage improvising there are women in other fields as well in culture science etc uh, but uh, um, the structures are still in the hands of men. There are more and more women. Uh, we are more and more visible every day. But even so, the world still belongs to men. Aldatzen zaio azala baina The surface can be different but um, things remain the same nothing has changed We want to be visible I am champion uh, of improvised verse uh, singers in the Basque Country. It could be the Nobel Prize for us, but honors normally go to men, and women are always an exception. <laughs> it's hard for us to be part of the elite of uh, improvised verse singing. Some people are there at the core of it and the rest of us are mere satellites. Still today, in an improvised verse uh, singing session, whenever we start singing, often we see um, that there is Mainly men there. When we sing together with men, they are always the main protagonists. Um, uh, their singing sessions are very long. Men seem to be the kings of humor and the kings of rhyme. 
and we try to use our words to revolutionize this field. Eta eskerrak agertu zinen I'm glad you appeared at a given moment in time on a stage. We, uh, as young girls, thought, I want to be like her. Even so, that invisible ceiling is still there above our heads. And even so, we keep singing with all our might. As the saying states, we need to fight, we need to keep trying. Young women have worked very hard. You fought very hard, just like me. We women need to sing our feminism. And you're probably already fed up with listening to us singing about this over and over again. Feminismo an milla aldari aisa tuisa. We have many feminist claims. And um, maybe some people think they better be quiet and keep silent. But we may ask the younger people that are now 16 or 17 about this. I had to face some problems when I was their age that are still there, I'm afraid. Etorri, Andoni. Andoni, please. Those of us who don't work in the field of science sometimes think about scientists as people that work in a lab. You work with words, but Andoni, um, science is here. Um, so imagine you open your mail and you find a letter uh, from an institute that is unknown to you. You open the envelope and it says, would you like to live forever? Uh, apparently uh, some people have been selected to participate in an experiment and if you do participate, maybe, you can live forever. So now you need to make a choice. Would you like to live forever? Adara joas or da vilskitnik. They're pulling my leg. This must be a joke. I'm going to take a seat. I'd better sit down. How long can we live? This is a hot topic today. Why do we want to live longer and longer? I don't think we should live we should live too long. Bueno urte batzuk 
Artuna Iditut. I would like to have some more years. I would like to live longer. Maybe 85, 90 years. The truth is that um, that will be fine. And insofar as possible, I want to live a full life, a wonderful life. Why do, you, do we always want to live longer? I think we need to live better. Everything needs to end. Experimento. Do I want to participate in an experiment? That wouldn't be a problem, would it? Why wouldn't I? Maybe I could live 7,000 years. Do I want to live that long? Well, I don't know if that would be acceptable. Please, uh, Nerea, Amech, and Mayalen. I think that uh, in, uh, in very few occasions we've had uh, this uh, session uh, or a session like this one. This is Bercho Passion. And I like this term, Bercho Passion, passion for verses, right? Um, I'll give you some context. Nerea, you have two passions. One is Mayalen and the other one is Amech, right? Amech is your partner and Mayalen is your dog. These are your two passions in life. You love them very much, both of them in the same way and simultaneously. The thing is that Amech hates your dog, hates Mayalen. And uh, Mayalen, the dog, hates Amech, your partner. Today, like uh, every afternoon, the three of you are sitting on the couch in front of the TV. That is your context. Nerea ya filosófico ki así dud galdea. Right, Nerea. I'm going to start asking philosophical questions. Uh, you've got a you know dog that's got four legs, and you treat that dog exactly the same way as you treat me. Well, I treat both of you in exactly the same way, and I think that's exactly how we should. Uh, treat. It's true that the dog leaves the sofa full of hairs and you don't actually leave any hairs in bed, so that's one advantage for you. Let me come and I'll be your blanket. I'll suck your fingers and lick your fingers and lick as long as that bloke over there gets lost. Oh, and what about those germs that you've got on your tongue? Oh, I'm not really very fond of those germs. He also actually uh, sucks my fingers, and he doesn't just suck my fingers either. Well, uh, I hate that dog. It trips me up all the time. Can you see which is his bottom, which is his face? Because I can't tell the difference. Well... 
I've often asked myself the same question and I don't actually know the answer. I don't really know where the food goes in and where the other things come out sometimes. Well, then brush me. Yeah, I've got lovely long hair, but all my hair's all knotty because you never groom me. I'm a pedigree dog, I'll have you know. I'm not some mutt you found out on the street. But you've got poison inside you. I don't know. You're a bit of a bad dog. Be quiet or else I'm going to take you to the vet, see what he can do about it. Ah, that disgusting dog, it, it slobbers all over the place. But our love is moving forward. I don't know if I've got butterflies uh, in my stomach or I've got worms somewhere else. If you don't want to put an end to the relationship that you've got with that bloke, then just at least feed me properly and then you can suck whatever you would like of each other. Well, I think each to their own. Everyone should get what they need. Maybe I should just, I don't know, bring a, a, buy a cat and then at least you two would stop arguing. Well, I think that uh, there's something that can, I think, solve the whole of it, the whole of our problem. Why don't you just spend your passion with me and you can just take your dog for a walk afterwards? Well, passion sort of fades out after 10 or 12 years, but you love your dog forever. This is an impossible triangle. Even though you're the only thing that we have in common. Because he's allergic to cats, but I'm allergic to him. Well, I think what we really need to do is to sort of sign a peace agreement. Maybe what I should do is buy you each a muzzle and then we can all have a little bit of peace. Edori Mayalen. Mayalen. Can you come up to the microphone, please? Now, you always wanted to do something important with your life. And what have you decided to do? Well, you've decided to come up with some fantastic inventions. You're an inventor. You've uh, come up with some wonderful in inventions. You've spent a whole load of money on patenting different devices, but they've all been failures. And the last one that you thought, this is it. This is going to be the one. This is going to change the world. And it's going to make me rich and famous. What was that? Uh, what was that invention? Well, it was a kind of pair of headphones that are also earmuffs, so they keep your ears warm in winter. Now you have uh, ordered two thousand of them. They're filling up your house in boxes, and you're trying very, very hard to carry on to patent more devices. Uh, anyway, what have you got to say about that? Galtze adi batzuk bost behatz dunak taino Well, socks with five toes. Well, when I invented that, no one said anything. They all thought it was a great idea. Ashmatun. And then, I also invented a back scratcher. I mean, what could be better than that? 
Then I invented these headphones. I thought they were fantastic myself. I mean, you can't just, it's not just that you can listen to music, they keep your ears warm in winter. Because my ears get really cold in winter when it snows. A person uh, who invented the nuclear bomb is not going to be as successful as I'm going to be with my headphones. machines that can cook by themselves. You just combine two different elements and apparently you can create all sorts of delicious things. Why have I invented shoes with wheels? Which can help people who are a bit slow. And a cat that will caress you without scratching you. But apparently, in the world, everybody else just prefers to live with all the bad things that have been invented in the past. I've also got uh, glasses with built-in binoculars. Also, clothes with light bulbs integrated into it, so that they can, my clothes can light my path if I come home late at night. I always wanted to invent a brave new world. But I also need to think about my own internal world, the world that's inside me. But even so, I think probably Indoni Aganya would reject that. Okay, Nerea and Andoni, it's your turn now. Now, Norea, you've spent a lot of time, uh, you spent a lot of time creating Andoni. Now, what's Andoni? Andoni is uh, an artificial intelligence machine, because Norea, you know a lot about artificial intelligence. And Andoni is a person, a being, based on artificial intelligence. And uh, he knows everything. You've uh, fed in all sorts of information and he knows absolutely everything. But you know that the system has some bugs and you're trying to find them. You're not quite sure exactly where the bugs are. So you think, well, I'm going to start with the simple things and then I'll just, you know, make things increasingly complex and complicated to work out where he starts making mistakes. So you're going to uh, start asking him simple questions. And he's going to answer. And little by little, we'll see whether or not he actually does know everything. No la veréis tendida, gawa. Okay, so what's the difference between night and day? Well, there's more light in daytime. Okay. What's the difference? Oh, what's the capital of France? Well, I think it's still Paris. Might not be, but I think it still is. And how much does it cost to rent a flat in Faroff? about 1,200 uh, euros. And in fact, there's a lot of uh, controversy about that at the moment. 
How many times has Antonio Engaña won the verse competition? Four, although he actually wanted to win five times, but he only won four. And uh, during the day, how many cigarettes have you smoked? Ooh, 40, about 42, you might be surprised to hear. And how many ph physicists are there in San Sebastian at the moment? Oh, the physicists are everywhere. You, you know, lift a stone and the physicist crawls out. And what is it that excites your passion? Well, I'm not going to tell you what gets me excited. When will the Basque language disappear off the face of the earth? I think it will be around for many, many years to come. Well, you doubted there for a bit. You hesitated. Uh, I, don't, I, wasn't, I wasn't quite sure of the answer. I'm not quite sure how long the Basque language is going to last. Will humans ever be free? That would be one of the most beautiful milestones that could ever be reached. Who's going to win the Third World War? Oh, when is it going to start? Well, I think it's going to start tomorrow morning, actually. You, you're doing pretty well. Yeah, you can see I work really well and I'm not even plugged in. Emet, it's your go now. I don't uh, tell them uh, what themes uh, I'm going to be setting them beforehand. I promise. Now, Andoni. Uh, you've been interviewing people for the past year to try to find someone to accompany you on a trip to the moon. You've discarded uh, all sorts of people, and only three candidates are left, the three people who are sitting behind you. Now, each really wants to go with you on your rocket ship to the moon. So you have to choose... A little trip to the moon. I wouldn't mind. But I wouldn't mind too much if you didn't choose me either. So maybe I could just be, you know, your second choice. I'd take the other two with you, maybe. And maybe next time uh, I can go with you because we already know that I'm never going to die. So I'm sure there's going to be a next time for me. Well, I was happy to hear Andoni's words. He's a very wise man. And he's uh, very well qualified as well. But he does actually smoke 40 cigarettes a day. So I'm not sure he's the best candidate. Uh, also, uh, if we have to buy him cigarettes, our entire, S you know, all the money we have to get to the moon, we're going to have to spend it on cigarettes. So perhaps he's not the best choice.
Well, I have been a Basque improvised verse singer. I've sung up on the stage. I've sung around a table. I've always been very profound, very serious, maybe a bit too much even. I, I sing very dramatically. I always talk about really important issues. But, uh, you know, I've always been very grave, but there's no gravity on the moon. So if there's no gravity on the moon, I'll take the gravity with me because I'm a very grave and serious person. I know that you have a lot of gravitas, and that's not a problem. But I think you should probably sell yourself a little bit better. We've often talked about a lot of different things. And to be honest, I think that we'll get there quicker if we go together. Yeah, well, I'd like to do something cool as well. I'd like to study a degree in astronomy, for example. I wasn't very good at school, to be honest, especially not in that subject. They asked to ask me, where do you live? On the moon? So, maybe I'll actually end up on the moon. And maybe I'll actually find my home there. Well, so you, were, you always had your head in the clouds or up on the moon? That's what you've just said. Uh, in fact, when I saw how you were dressed, I didn't think that you were like that. If we did go together, I think that would be great. People would say that Nerea went to the moon and her light went out, but she would say that uh, she went to the moon and her light came on and my light went off. Ciencia elevada. Well, science is creation, or it's also creation, as well as many other things. And today we'd like to build a bridge. We'd like to create a bridge. A bridge between science and improvised birth, verse singing. So we're going to make our Bertoladis suffer a bit, and we're going to have fun watching them suffer. So we have an Amet and Nerea in one group, and we have Andoni and Mayalin, uh, who are in another group. And because I'm in charge, I'm going to tell you that you can choose two things. Who wants to start? Which team wants to start? There are two teams. Okay. So Amet and Nerea, you're going to start. You don't know what you're doing yet, but you're going to start. Now, you're, you've been brave, so you can choose what you want to sing about. Some things we do in the world by ourselves, and some things we do with other people. So the name of one exercise is, you can't do it alone. And the next exercise, or the other one, is science unites us. These are the two themes. You can choose one or the other, because you decided to go First, you can choose, you can't do it alone, or science unites us. There you go. And uh, what you're trying to do, uh, you need to be singing three verses. Science unites us. And uh, these three verses have to work as a mathematical operation. We have to add up. So we'll have to use 222 or 222, 20, 222. 
and you can use any type of verses you like. You can add up, you can take away, you can divide, you can multiply, or you can do other things as well, I don't know, other operations that we're not familiar with, but you have three verses and you have to get up to 222. But you need to do at least nine operations in three verses. And there's something else after that. Bad, gay, bad. One plus one is two. Unless something's gone very wrong in the world without us realizing. Two times plus two uh, is four. We all know that. Four plus seven is 11, I think. I think I'm getting a bit confused already. So 11 plus 7 is 18, and 8 and 1 equals Basque. Does that make us get up to 22 or 222? I don't know. Okay, so 22. Who said anything about 22? It's really difficult to do this. I'm completely lost already. Look, okay, look, let's start with a bit of math, shall we? We've got uh, four beers here in San Sebastian. I think that probably takes us up to 22. And if not, well, no one's going to notice. Okay. Three pinchos, uh, four beers. Well, that's actually going to cost probably more than 2,000 euros because it's very expensive here in San Sebastian. So 2,000 and 2,000 is 4,000, especially if we go to Bilbao where it's even more expensive. Yeah, but it's great going out and having a, a beer and a bar snack. I thought we were just talking about a metaphor here. Uh, I don't know, time is, is stretching out into infinity in front of me. I don't know, is mathematics some kind of drug? I don't think we're really getting anywhere, are we? Bueno, eune angoa. Okay, I think we've, we've got up to 100. I think, I think we can say that, right? We've got to keep going now. We're definitely going at 100 miles per hour. I don't know, 40? Again, you smokes 40 cigarettes. Okay, we can have 40. He's back. He's sitting down there probably doing fiercely calculating uh, in his head. But I don't know, if we get up to his age, then maybe we'll get up to 300. But today he's been given eternal life, right? So if we multiply that by Mayalin's age, we're probably near 200, I reckon. We've got two Trojan course horses here. If we, uh, I don't know, maybe we get up to 300, then we subtract 78, and that's 222. Buenos Aires, San Jose. Well, uh, I don't know. What do you all think about that? Should we give them four points? I don't know, up to 18, then 100, then 300, back down to 222. I'm going to give him six points. So a warm round of applause, please, for that. Right, Andoni and Mayellen, it's your turn now. So your theme is you can't do it alone. Now, so somebody by themselves can't do something. So we've got number two, which appears a lot in our lives. But our question is, 
how many things in life come in twos? But that's easy, but you need to give us a list of things in life that come in fours. So, every time you say something that comes in two, you get a point, but you get extra points for listing things that come in fours. Be beggy, ta be beggy. Two eyes, two ears. So, we have two hands and two legs. That's what a whole person has, right? We also often repeat the last line of the verse two times. That's what we do in improvise. Uh, verse singing. We often have to sing in pairs as well. We also have perfect families with the parents and two kids. They come in fours. And uh, when we play cards, there are four kings. And we always uh, eat our fried eggs in twos. They always come in twos, fried eggs as well. <clears throat> Antonyms always come in twos. Two nights, two days. Another thing that comes in twos uh, is, well, we get up twice in the night to go to the toilet, especially at my age. We have friends and enemies, they come in twos. Colacao uh, and Nesquik. Uh, whenever we're making chocolate milk, the lumps are off, often come in twos. Rings come in twos, when, especially if you're getting married, there are two rings. And people who drink too much often see double. And there were two fantastic goals scored last night by Real Sociedad. Moscorbatek, Balespare. Generally, a, a drunkard. can see double and sometimes they say things twice especially if they've had a bit too much to drink uh, channel 2 isn't great and uh, in channel 1 they often run reruns of old programs so they come in twos or even fours in 2022 we had two world wars And we have two doors, one to come in, one to go out. <laughs> and here we've got a lot of couples who should come in twos, but actually come in threes, because there's an extra person there that nobody knows about, or at least only one of them knows about. Oh, it allow a B plus. 24, yeah, wonderful. One round of applause for them. <laughs> So, now you can sing some free verses. Putsura botada igun zientziaren giltza zientzi the science of key, we can throw it in a well, 
and they start of science. We're not very good at that, you know. We're better at, at singing. Life can be that so complex, and I wonder what our dear interpreters are doing. Are you okay, girls? <laughs> How are you doing? Gaurses. <laughs> this session is so hard. I can hear someone's translating into Spanish. All my cells are excited. <laughs> Have you realized that we know nothing about science? Nothing at all? Well, we also get awards and distinctions. We're all, or many of us, are champions, and we're still competing. And uh, Egaña is our Nobel laureate, and soon he will get an Oscar. Amen. We have so many special brains here. It's not easy to sing before them. Some of us are thinner, some of us are fatter. Our words in Basque, in the Basque language, are international. We love social science. Let's advocate social science. Nobel invented dynamite. and blew it all up. It's quite clear that you've looked at the Wikipedia. And Oppenheimer also had a role to play in this. I'm glad I can show my knowledge um, in front of all of you. You know nothing about dynamite? I didn't know about that. We always learn something new in our sessions uh, from a match. Is something going to explode here? Well, the no Nobel Prize for Peace is quite special, but uh, are you going to blow things up here? Technology. We're not very good in technology. And we all have our uh, smartphones in our pockets. But here we are singing together, but we're a bit lost uh, in the scientific field. And we are here on the stage, and we didn't bring any PowerPoint presentation. So, this is the end of uh, the day. Um, yeah. Let's uh, go back home. We've tried to share with you the little things we know about science, but this session has come to the end. Thank you very much for coming and have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much.